everyone, welcome to your Wednesday watch. Today we've got a very subtle pink sparkly Christmas. Um, right, so I'm going to go straight in and explain what we're doing here. Now, one of the most popular glitters on the website is called Sugar Tits. And that's what this is right here. But it's not just Sugar Tits, I'm picking up um, Soft White from Glitter Bells. Dipping that into... Um, my sugar tips, <laughs> working it onto the nail and blending it back. Then I'm adding some iridescent stars and then I'll be ombre down from the cuticle. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but everything will be in the description. Um, it's, oh, well, it's not pink opal. Could be, could be. You guys will just know it from looking at it. Um, but yeah, I'm just ombre that down, covering part of the stars, leaving them so, so it's kind of like, yeah, they're just underneath, it's like, mm, what's that? Oh yeah, it's stars, yay, nice. Um, yeah, I love this, really, really nice. And sometimes I never know where I'm going to go with a design, so we pull out all the colours and we swatch a little bit on the tissue and we're like, yeah, yeah, that works. Um, but then I, I always do the little finger, see where we go from there. And yeah, so that's what we've got. Yeah, we're going to be doing another candy cane. I know I did a candy cane on a set last week in a blue, but we're going to be doing it again um, and working it exactly the same way where I work with the beads a lot drier because I need them to hold their shape. And I'll be using my brush to just push it up into place and trying to get as straight a line as I can. You can go in with your metal file or any file and just crisp up that wall. I say well, wall is the um, the, the build-up of product that I'm going to create. You'll see me push back my brush here. You can see I'm building a wall. That wall is what we push the product up against. Um, so, yeah, you want to get that lovely and straight. And you can do that with a file. You can do that with your brush. You can use um, a craft knife. I sometimes use fishing wire. Couldn't find my bloody fishing wire, could I, though, today? Because um, I had more planned for this nail but I even ran out to the garage, couldn't find the bloody fishing wire. Um, no, don't know where it is. I bet a child, I bet it's run off. I'll find it in one of their bedrooms. So yeah, again, we're going in with sugar tits. So I'll be using that pinky, I'll find the, I'll find the name. Um, we're going to be using sugar tits. We're going to be using white. We're going to be using ballet slipper shards, which are going to be the pink shards that you're going to see. And we're just going to have to work step by step by step. Um, until we're happy. Now this nail is pretty special. I'm laying a wet bit of clear acrylic so that I can stick this snowflake to. Um, this just got everything going on in this nail. So we've got the snowflake, we've got a bit of the snow queen that's coming around it here, real iridescent glitter. We're going to be having some of the stars and a little bit of the ballet slipper pink shards as well. Literally everything. I threw it all at this finger. And then not happy with just that. I'm then going to be using that pink acrylic, dipping that into sugar tips and ombre in that down. It really is the sparkliest nail ever. And, and guess what? It didn't photograph very well either. Why do they do that? Why when it's like your favorite nail, does some chuffing bloody photograph? Um, but yeah, never mind. So I've done that middle finger. I'm going back in now. Go back in and just continue with that candy cane. I'll be ready to push up against it. Um, you can see I just put a little bit of clear above that one. I just wasn't capped quite enough. So going back in here with this dry bead. Do you know, it's bloody annoying me. I'm going to have to go find what that is. I can't talk about it. Oh, I'll find it after. I'll find it after, guy. If I move now, I've put the kids to bed. Doing my voiceover. Chris has gone out to football. Um, if I move, they will hear it. They'll hear it. They'll be up, be like, what are you doing, mum? Where are you going? Are you making yourself a drink? Why are you having a drink? Can I have a drink? No, you can't have a drink. Are you eating, mum? Can I have something to eat? So it's best I just sit here, um, like a statue, 
and I'll find out what that pink is after. Okay, I'm sure you all completely understand. So how are we all diddling though? We're all coping with the crazy crimbo rush. We've got sparkle coming out of our chuffing eyeballs. Um, but we've just got to grab it whilst we can because they're all going to want nude. Nude, not a bit of bling come January. So we'll just lap it up now. Um, yeah, not long to go. Uh, and then we'll probably be chuffing lockdown in January. No, don't jinx it, Kylie. Do not jinx it. I can't. I can't do it anymore. I can't homeschool these children again. It's not fun. Um, but yeah, hope everyone's good. I'm loving doing all these nails as well now. Um, yeah, it's just nice. It's just nice to be nailing instead of chuffing Pamela Anderson. What a cow. Right, back to this one. Look at this. This is the pink acrylic that has no name currently dipped into sugar tips so sometimes when you've got your core powders they don't have to just be that get them and dip them you know as you do your clear acrylic dip it in make it something else um this you're going to see a lot of this i'm going to do this a lot um, i'm going to say it again the glitter is sugar tits it's epic it looks really nice, given the name Sugared as well. So I've got a plan for my set of nails um, where we're going to be doing, having some sugared, sugared nails. So I'll be doing those very soon. Right, I'm going to let you watch this and I'll be back in a moment. Our reverse nail is very similar to this candy cane nail. We're working with a dryer bead and we are building the wall. So we're building a small amount of height to push product up against. So I place that bead on and I've stretched it down the nail using the sides of my brush just to tuck it into place, making sure that my wings are all the same height. The main thing is make sure the back of the bead is nice and flush. You can see there it, it's quite transparent because it's so thin and flush. Wings are the same height, but you've left your wall in place. Now the second bead, I am just tucking it into the cuticle, tap, 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 wiping down each side wall, and then gently pulling down the middle, making sure I leave an apex in place. Um, I'll leave that nail for a moment. Uh, before I go in and, and design the free edge of it, I will just crisp up that smile line with my brush. Back to the chuffing candy cane. Now, I'm not doing any bloody candy canes tomorrow. If anybody asks me of a candy cane, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give them the look. They'll know. They'll know. Don't. Like the look I give them when I've sculpted their base layers, when they ask to go to the toilet, that look. I'll give them that look. And they'll know. They'll know. No candy canes today.
Okay, we're gonna crisp up this smile line. I've covered over my open acrylics and glitters with a bit of tissue and going in my metal file to make sure it is nice and crisp. I just wanna take a minute to apologize for the volume of the TV, which is actually in another room. No wonder my fucking kids can't sleep. <laughs> fucking hell, guy. I need to go get my ears tested. I just re-listened to what I just recorded and I thought, chuff, I can, I can hear everything. So yeah, I'm not going and re-recording it. Just huge apologies. <laughs> for that it's like you can listen to me and you can listen to lulu And when we're happy with all the designs, we've got to make sure that we cap them fully. Make sure nothing sparkles, because if it does, it will come back and it will bite you on the ass. Um, right, I'm going to leave you guys. Um, I'm, I am I do need a drink. I'm, the kids will wake up and I need to go turn that telly down. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to go and do. So I'm going to let you watch the rest of this video. There's a little bit of e-filing, a teeny bit of hand filing. Um bit of a top coat reveal yeah it's got a bit more to go yet um but i'm just gonna sign off and say thank you very much for watching um if you don't already please subscribe that would be fantastic and i love reading all your comments and yeah if you don't already please go find me on instagram because instagram is a dick at the moment isn't it like ah. Uh, I, I put a post the other day and thank you to everybody who did comment on that. Just everything, Instagram hide everybody, but you have got to, you can't just scroll past. You've got to actually engage to see everything, haven't you? Um, so yeah, I just thought I was getting me air off because I was like, Arr! I don't understand how to do a reel. Is that so bad? Are you just going to hide everything Instagram? I don't know. But anyway, that's for another day. I'm rambling again. I've got to go. Right, I love you all. I'll speak soon. Goodbye.